it's a good time to look into the log restrictions now. And we'll start by looking at the dictionary definition of a logarithm. If a is a positive number and b is a positive number other than 1, then we can say that log base b of a is c. If b to the power of c equals a. So we have the main part of this definition pretty much sorted out at this point. That is, we have the same base b, and the a and c are switched. Yep, nothing new here. So let's focus on those preceding conditions. First, a is a positive number. Let's analyze that. Example 1. Log base b of negative 100. Well, this looks easy enough. Let's assume that b is 10 and just plug this into our calculator. So log of negative 100, and we get an error. Hmm. So a base 10 won't work here. Well, let's consider other options. Let's put in an x and switch things around to exponent form to have a look b to the x equals negative 100. So, what base b would make this work? We know that 10 squared equals positive 100. Hmm, what about negative 10 squared? Maybe that'll work. No, because we remember that negative 10 times negative 10 is also plus 100. A little more thinking, and we conclude that there's no exponent that'll make this work simply not possible to find a solution if our a is negative 100. And that's why we got the error in our calculator. Try another. Example 2. Log base b of negative 1000. Another negative. Let's just switch it into exponential form right away this time. And we'd have b to the power of x equals negative 1000. And actually this one could work. Because if b was negative 10, we'd have negative 10 times negative 10 times negative 10, and that would legitimately give us negative 1,000. x is 3. So in this case, we could come up with an answer, even though the a is negative. Now, given that, if we entered any negative into our calculator, we will get an error. Since we can't say that the negative works generally, we make the negative a restriction and we find that most calculators will give us an error with any negative. So, due to the undependable nature of a negative a here, it's included as a restriction in our definition. Moving on to the next restriction, the b, or the base, is a positive number, with the extra condition of it being other than 1. So let's look at the first part of the restriction related to b. Let's try out a negative base. Example 3. Log base negative 2 of a. Now, to prep this for our calculator, let's switch to base 10. And we have log a over log negative 2. And we can already see our problem. We know, based on our restriction around a, that plugging log negative 2 into the calculator will cause an error. And so it makes sense that we have to restrict our base to be positive. Now continuing on with our base b, that is not only a positive number, but we also have to avoid one particular positive number, and that is a plus 1. Our b has to be a positive number other than 1. Let's take a look at this second part. Example 4. Log base 1 of a. Again, to put this in our calculator, we'll switch to a base 10. And we have log a over log 1. Now, if we stick this into our calculator, we get an error. Why? Well, the log a would probably be fine, as long as the a is a positive. So looking at log 1, and thinking back, the exponent that makes a result equal to 1 would have to be 0. And we remember that we can't divide by 0. Dividing anything by 0 is going to create an error in our calculator. And there's the reason. 
When working with logs, you'll run into cases where the calculator gives you an error. And it's good to know why. In the end, we know that log functions like inputs that are positive for both the A and the B. And the base B also is restricted from being a 1, as that will also cause an error. 